Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial for Magnus Billing. We are going to discuss the initial configurations for Magnus Billing. You can see this is the general layout. To begin we're going to go to the configurations menu under the configurations tab. You can now see all the customizable parameters that you will need to set up. The first value we're going to change is system currency. We can use any currency symbol. In this case, we're going to use the US dollar sign. So we'll enter the currency symbol and then click Save. You can see at the top that the operation was successful. System messages will always appear at the top. Next, we will modify the language variable. The current languages available are English, Spanish, and Portuguese. In this example, we're going to change the language to Spanish. You will need to use the symbols defined here, so Spanish will be ES. Once you enter the value, click Save. Next, we will change the location. The current options are USA, Brazil, Argentina, and Netherlands. If you're located anywhere else outside of these countries, you can just use USA. This is a general value that also serves as the rest of the world. You will need to use the symbols defined here. The other important options you will need to modify are the STMP, SMTP related settings. Once you change all of these SMTP values to match what your provider gives you, you should also change the admin email. This will allow the notifications and email system to work properly. Once done, you can click save. In the full version of Magnus Billing, not in the free version, you can customize the logo. To do this, you will click the menu at the top right corner and then click Import Logo. Once you click Import Logo, you will be able to select a logo on your local computer in PNG format. Once you upload the logo and click Save, you will then need to clear your cache and refresh the browser window. This will then begin to display the new logo in the top left corner. Aside from logo customizations, you can also customize the theme. To customize the theme, you will go back to the top right corner and then click Configure Theme. In the full version of Magnus Billing, there are two basic theme options. One is the standard layout and one is the desktop layout. If you click the desktop layout, you can see on the right side that there's a real-time preview of what this will look like. The same if you click the standard layout. The desktop layout resembles what a computer desktop would look like. You can also change the icon colors between black and white. You will see those changes in real time as well. In addition to the layout, you can also change the color. You can see that there are multiple color options and for each color there's three additional options. These are shades. You can click the colors to see the changes in real time. If you look to the right, you will see that as I click the different colors, the display is updated with a real-time simulation of what it will look like. You can see that the majority of the options change, including the highlight colors. In this case, I will pick orange, and then I will click Apply and click Yes. Now that the skin has changed, the window will automatically refresh and reload with the new color skin. You can see that the new colors have been applied. Now if I go back to the theme options and then I click on the desktop layout and click apply and then I click yes, it will load the desktop layout. My screen will automatically refresh and when it comes back up I will now have the desktop layout on my screen. You can see that it has a functional start menu and all of the icons are laid out in a traditional desktop setup. The background image can be modified to any image of your liking. 
That will conclude our initial configurations video for Magnus Billing. This video has been sponsored by Synapse Global, www.synapseglobal.com.